Oh, welcome to the Media Box studio, President. It's a, it's a big deal for you, isn't it? You've now become the most important man in the Parliamentary Assembly. What does it mean for you? Well, well, first of all, I'm not the most important man in the Parliamentary Assembly. We've got men and women to start with. And secondly, each and every member is equally important because we make decisions together. So the only thing I do is try to guide everything into, into a good move. Uh, or even a good atmosphere in order to make this uh, to take decisions because what what is important to me is to get results i mean talking is important of course in the political environment but having real results on the table uh, would be more important to me you you've said that you want this uh, this assembly to have relevance and impact how do you achieve that given that you've got so many members in there from different countries with different points of view and he's looking at for instance the situation in libya where different member states support different factions within libya well, they have different issues i mean one of them would be uh, how do we go about with the conventions that exist this is something that we all have to uphold. This is something that we all have to defend. So basically, there should be no divergence concerning that. To give you one example, the Istanbul Convention on Women's Rights, on equality between men, uh, men and women. I mean, we all uh, basically subscribe to that. So I do hold everyone accountable in the, in the assembly to uphold and defend that. So there's more than 200 conventions, uh, amongst them the European Convention of Human Rights. That's, let's say, one activity. The second one is to try to promote new ones. And as I said in my introductory speech, I mean, I think that the climate issue is so important today and the link to human rights is so, I mean, evident that I think we should take an initiative, an initiative uh, on that one. Already spoke to the Georgian presidency, spoke to the secretary general, seems to be more or less working. So we'll see if we get there because these are things that are relevant and they impact all of the 830 million people within the Council of Europe countries. So that's what relevance and impact means. You said that you want to be the tough guy here. You want to have, be a more assertive president. You want to see the Council of Europe, the Parliamentary Assembly, taking its place in the world and making more of a, of a splash, if you like. How are you going to set about doing that? Well, that won't be so difficult. Uh, I think the only thing you need to do is to be honest, to be straightforward and to say the things the way they are on behalf of the assembly if possible and maybe not even having all of them behind you but having a majority behind you. So I think that you have to be vocal because there's too few people who know what the Council of Europe really means. Again, if you look at the European Convention of Human Rights, this is something that all 830 million people can go to a court and hold their government accountable. I mean, this is really a big thing. So I, I think that, yes, we need to be tough on certain issues. But have you got any particular ambitions for new areas of, of legislation uh, that you would like to see brought in? Well, climate is one of them. I mean, we've got tens of millions of young people going on the streets on behalf of climate. And I do think it's not only young people who basically are worried about it. I mean, I'm a wine farmer. I'm, I'm having my harvest three months, no, three weeks earlier than I did 20 years ago. So climate change does exist. I mean, in my profession, I see it on a daily basis. So we need to address it, and we need to address it in a proper way. I believe that there's a link between climate or environment and human rights. The court, by the way, is having rulings on it. So why don't we confection in some way a protocol which is basically adding something to the European Convention? I know it's controversial, but hey, this is what the debate is all about. Secondly, I mean, if we have the Istanbul Convention, which is on women rights, I don't exclude it might be interesting to have a convention on children's rights. I know the Luxembourg president, I mean the Luxembourg ambassador and some colleagues is working on that. It would be good to have that too because then you put something very concrete on the table. Um, artificial intelligence, if you talk about democracy, I mean smart people today are making algorithms, you know, things that go automatically in order to influence people in their behavior during elections. I mean, come on, you should have a free will in voting for whoever you wish. So, I mean, these are just like three elements that can be put on the table. Having said this, if you have many priorities, at the end of the day, you don't have any. You don't have not even one. So I tend to go for climate first, and then we'll see what happens with the other ones. President Hendrik Bam, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure.